the bracket final. The winner of this will go into the grand final, obviously, and it's Infi versus Focus. The bracket here again, both had a very cool run throughout the winner bracket. Focus 2-0 Romantic, 2-0 Life. He is undefeated in these playoffs. Infi on the other side had a clear 2-0 victory over Chimiko in the quarterfinal. Then the hardest opponent for him so far was Lin yesterday. He was down 0-1 and then he came back with a Fire Lord Tower Rush on Echo Isles. So now they face... Will Focus finally lose his first match, his first map? Will he go down to the lower bracket to face the winner of Lin versus Jamiko? That is the question we have to ask ourselves here. And here are the players. South Korea versus China, both 28 years old. And the statistics are not really working, I wonder why. Both, like, this number of Focus against Human is unbelievable, to be honest. This was his weakest matchup for quite a long time. And... Now he's at 62%. He really put some work into it. And we saw how great he can be against Human now with his 2-0 win over Romantic, who is considered the best Human versus Orc player in the world. But this is Infi. This is the winner bracket final. And we know how this guy strives the Iceman when it comes to the later stages of the tournament. Focus so far. Not too many big... Tournament wins always up there, but when it comes to finals, you know, it's always a little hard for him. Off we go into map number one. This is Last Refuge. And before we go in, we have to thank El Mythos for a 10 euro donation. Thanks for streaming, he says, and thanks for watching. Getting closer to the daily goal, which is, of course, always uh, a treat. Thank you very much for the support. Also, still 1,500 viewers. I love to see that on this early Saturday. We have the Archmage creeping up to one and a half. Found a Ring of Protection. Not that bad against the Blade Master Harass early on. Focus creeping his item as well against the Gloves of Haste. Infi is scouting this. Sees, okay, the Blade Master is running over immediately. And what tactic will Infi decide to go for? He will be the driving force in this matchup. He will determine the pace. And he will determine most likely the outcome. Focus will only react, but that is for the later stages. At first, he is harassing, and he has to keep the Archmage low, keep him away from level 3. Not that easy on Last Refuge, to be honest. Quite a few cool camps to take. Tier 2 tech for Infilus is, of course, not an expansion. Can he find the opening? No, he can't. Mass build on the farm. Costs a little resources for the power build. But also, again, we saw this from Infi against Lin all the time. This lumber mill to protect the barracks. I really wonder what the reason for that is. We haven't seen it too much from humans to do that. So there must be a good reason behind it. Uh, maybe Chad knows. And usually Infi is Focus Nemesis. He's the end boss. In so many tournaments, Infi defeated him. But in GCS, it was Focus who got him. Players' forces are under attack. The chat was quite favorable of Infi here in this match. I mean, it would be a great success for Korea, for Focus, to advance to the grand final. More right clicks, but the Blade Master is already pretty low. Found a big invul potion here at the shop, but it's boots of speed on the Archmage, so he can easily run away. A little scouting here uh, to see the movement of the Archmage, so the Blade Master knows. Okay, he can't do too much there. T2 tech from him, no war mill in the base, just a few grunts. A player's forces are under attack. He needs the space for the two sanctums. Couldn't you put the lumber mill here and two sanctums here? I don't think that's the reason. It feels like he's protecting his barracks with it. But that makes no sense, really. I think the Lumber Mill is for Gato to be in range to protect him. Ah, that's... Nah, no, then... I don't know. Ah, okay, so... You open this little spot for Lumber? I don't know. Forces I'll have to figure attack. it out. Or ask him when I'm in China the next time. So the Grunts find the Archmage, gets a few hits on him. Blade Master damage is not that high here. Circlet and Gloves. But the big in wool. That's uh, quite a big thing here. And he finds the Archmage again, only level 2, so Focus is doing a good job so far. 
tier 2 is finished, it's Beastery and Lodge, and the Shadow Hunters are no surprise here. Of course they had one day of practice. A player's forces are to prepare attack. for each other, and Focus has quite a few cool tricks up his sleeve on Last Refuge. Usually it's always the human pushing, sometimes uh, Focus is pushing with the burrow here. Here, like on the high ground. To get some piercing damage into the fight. I wonder if we see it this time. The Shadow Hunter is out now, of course. He wants level 3 as well. Archmage, a single hero so far. But there's the Mountain King. Lots of militia being called to go for the lab. Are under attack. Oh, the Shadow Hunter is creeping thanks to Hex. Fairly easy. Blade Master level 2. Gets uh, invo potion already? No. Surfmet? Yes. Lots of hurt units! This might be an opening for Focus who comes back in with three wind walks, getting storm bolted right away. Can he steal something? The item goes towards the Archmage with the health potion, which is nice. The level 5 Mauler though is up for grabs and all the Pokemon are for grabs. He goes for the Archmage, storm bolt again with a critical strike right after it, so he tanks a lot of damage. There's still a reveal, uses the invo potion. Gets the water elemental and just right clicking with the big invo but he consumes the big health potion or health stone immediately focus a little late for the mauler so that was a good good creep could have gone a lot worse for infi close to level 2 archmate yeah on the cost of the health stone but no reveal was used not i think not even a single footman was killed and there was a lot of potential here maybe focus a little too greedy going for the hero immediately while he could get uh, a lot of footman there but he makes progress on the left side of the map. We see no Major here anymore. Focus stole it. He needs the space for the shop and Sanctum. Ah, okay, that makes sense. A okay. Forces are under attack. Still, I only see it from Infi, I think. More creeping. Archmage super aggressive, close to level 3. He wants to get uh, an advantage through the end snares here. Mountain King used a lot of mana so far, but thanks to the Brilliant Sora, he's back to 200. So he can throw like 3 Storm Balls. End snares now on the Footman. Nice dodge with the Wind War against the Storm Ball. Doesn't get the damage, doesn't get bolted. And run for the Invo Potion now. Oh, Heal Skull actually. And he's revealed. Thank god he can walk through units. Archmage didn't get it, was the Shadow Hunter here. But he got the big scroll. But there's not too much damage and TP out from Infi. Thanks to Heal Wave, he can't really stay longer in this fight. And also doesn't kill a unit. So I think this went pretty well for Focus despite the scroll being used. I think the scroll would have helped a lot in the fight as Raiders benefit a lot more. And the Blade Master, of course, from this scroll. And there's no Dispel in this army yet. So boots on the MK, apart from that, both are quite naked. While well, we have a heal scroll, the Shadow Hunter is gone at the moment, went for clarity a most likely. Yes, that's exactly right. what happened, and a speed scroll. So I don't know if he should take this fight, but Focus is engaging, kills the first sorceress right away. And the Shadow Hunter is there in the backline. First breakers are coming to steal Spirit Link. This army of Infi is not scary at all, there's still a lot of footmen in there. Trying to go for the Raiders, of course, but nice micro by Focus. Blade Master is a little low, could use an Invo Potion. And the break is now, of course, super strong. Level 3 on both Orc heroes. Still level 2 Archmage, still level 2 MK. Not even the Water Elementals. Heal Scroll being used in the perfect time. There's still a lot of mana. Wow, how long he can save this Raider alive? It's crazy. And finally we have level 3. Finally a kill for the Archmage. She was barely level 3 on the shop side there and look how red everything is he kills the grunt yeah but he loses like three units at the same time mountain king is going low as well gets big experience from this mountain king and so far i think focus is playing a tremendous game here getting an end snare and this should be the end for the mk pretty one-sided and focus dominating infi and getting the kill and the first map here one step closer to the winner bracket final and this being focus one of Focus's weakest matchups and Infi being his nemesis, this map looked completely different than anything we could have expected on paper. 
But yeah, taking this fight, I think Infi's plan was to um, disrupt the creeping at the shop, kill a unit, and then he's level 3. And then he can fight. And then, like, with a level 2 water elementals, it's really, really good. But he didn't get it. Focus saved every single unit in this fight at the shop. The knight level 3 got double level 3 on his units, his heroes. And you can't fight against a level 2 Shadow Hunter. There's no way. There is no way. Yeah, Chet says it as well. Fighting way too early. Thank you, Havunen Twitch. Havunen Twitch. Something like that. Sorry for butchering your name. Uh, for the first time, sub. And uh, Twisted Meadows is the next map, by the way. This has to be a Tower Rush. <laughs> Check. Okay, Dragon 3 was fine. Uh, Mouse 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 has subscribed for an entire year. He says, one full year smiley face and greetings to Roxy. Greetings to Roxy from my side as well. Thank you very much for watching. I did not expect Focus to be that strong. Maybe we should have expected him to be that strong. Since he killed Romantic that easy. Are we underestimating him in this matchup? Neo, why should Infi be focused Nemesis? Just look at the his uh, tournament history between the two. Like, throughout the past four years. Infi eliminated him so, so, so many times. <laughs> Focus genius alpha male up. <laughs> So, Twisted is a pretty normal choice for humans. It is a big map, and on paper there's a lot of creeps to take, but this time I think Infi will be the aggressor. Could be very likely um, to have it like Lin played against Foggy. And this will most likely be a Tower Rush, as I said. So, here are the players again. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Is a little buggy again. I don't know why. Sorry about that. But who really cares? Focus one, Infi zero, match points for the Korean Orc. Who is at the moment the fourth best player in the world according to our ELO. Such a strong shape recently since GCS. He's just like a different person. Can he 2 him? He still hasn't lost a single map in this playoffs and he in general has lost only a single map in this tournament that was to Sini who is uh, pretty great in Night Elf vs Orc in the group stage that was Infi going for an Archmage we have most likely a Blade Master here it was a power build Archmage to go for the laboratory fast and of course a lot depends on the items there and like the drops in general Tome and item so Blade Master it is no surprise Farseer pick with Wyvern or something, you basically won't have the time for it. <laughs> so, Laboratory, what will you give him? Tome of Experience is possible. Vamp Aura, True Shot Aura, Robe of the Magi, stuff like that. It's gonna be really good. Late Shop for Focus. So I wonder what he's doing. It's kind of close position, but not really, because the Laboratory is pretty far away from the base, so we won't be there in time. There is no speed scroll. It's a two burrow tech again, which makes sense as we saw from Lin against Foggy. And the creep starts. This could determine the mid game already. If he gets a tome or a big item for more mana or more damage. One peasant dies here. Two of intelligence and so we mask. So we mask not that great with Brilliance Aura, like it doesn't stack additionally or something, like it's kind of a little bit weaker than it is on other heroes in terms of raw mana regeneration. So a rope would have been better for him, but he will still be happy with it. 
especially for the second tier, whatever it will be. It's still quite great. Tome of Intelligence also plus 2 damage and 30 more mana. So it's not like the jackpot, but it's still a good opening. Focus on the other side. It's not going for the gamble here at the shop, but very safe null overseer spot. With the shop being so late, he will take quite a, a few hits and has to go back to the base. Oh, will this footman get the kill? No, that was quite close. Bring up protection for him though. And tier 2 tech, pretty late for him as well. But Infi not teching yet. That is fairly late. And now Infi wants to do some evasion creeping, but focus nice deny. Level 2.6 for the Archmage already after the two nulls here. If the Blade Master can steal this Overseer. This prevents level 3 again and gets him closer to his own level. But at the moment, Infi not attacking it. The two grunts are in for the harass. Blade Master is it player's this time? Are under attack. Looks like it, right? He steals the boots, and that means the Archmage is quite in trouble. 60 movement speed boost, 380 normal speed then, with Windborg it's even higher. And the Archmage can just run away. Only run away. 40% tech, next Burrow is coming, which is necessary. Finally, Infi with a tier 2 tech will compare. Quite a big advantage for the Orc again. More experience thanks to the Swat Elemental. And the Archmage doesn't get stuff done, but scripting simultaneously will get him level 3. And now he has the boots himself with the Virions or Anthes, so he has a lot of mana for Wattle Elemental. So this one null will get him up to 3. And if he gets the Grunts, it would be even better. Focus. I'm not microing it back. With the boots, he can't go for it, I guess, but takes the secure kill on the null. And in the end, doesn't get anything. That was a little mistake there from him. Now the Blade Master is there, but boots on both sides, so it's fine. No war mill yet. Do so we see a lumber mill? No, we don't. I was 100% sure that this is going to be a tower push. Not too much anymore. Focus needs time to heal. A player's forces are under attack. And the hero is weak. More creeping. And this is finally level 3 on the Archmage, as you can see. So this early game is already a lot better from Infi. Not too much pressure from the blade. Um, no good items on this blade master as well. Level 3 very early on. And this push into the orc base will be a lot better. And there's the lumber mill. He has to go for the sanctums as well. So it will be in time. He will push. Oh, this is bad. Focus will lose the lot. And even more stuff. There is no defend on Infi's side. Damage gets lowered. Oh, but a nice block from Infi. Can he block again? Oh, the value of those footmen of Infi. We have to point it out over and over. Grunt and Lodge gone. And he... Okay, I thought he didn't cancel, but that was Infi's, uh, lumber, Infi's resources. I don't have the same overlay as you guys have. Beastmaster is coming. Very unusual. The past few times that we saw Infi playing Orc, it was always the Mountain King. Not this time. No mana for the water elemental anymore. Now the Shadow Hunter is out, but apart from that, no tier 2 production. Late Master is trying to get a kill here using the hex, but there is almost no critical strike and only one Windwalk remaining. If he gets a second hex out, this Beastmaster is dead. And he does. So, first hero kill with a critical strike splits his head in two. But the Archmage is still there and the new Water Elemental is coming. I don't know how long it can repair this. Oh, he's going for the Archmage! What a nice solution from Focus! But only forces the Town Portal. Has a little luck with the damage roll there. If it's a little higher, he kills the second hero as well. Lots of mana was used on the Shadow Hunter. All of the hexes were quite successful though. Beastmaster dead, Footman dead, forced the Town Portal. So he got some time. Water Elemental expired, but he has to... He has to use this time for his tier 2 buildings. Infi, of course, with the Sanctum, or the Sanctums. Beastmaster is back, but that was quite costly, and he doesn't have a shop. Quite reliant on the priests now, and if the Blade Master finds this Archmage, he's dead. And guess who's on the chase? 
Guess who's on the chase? Another footman dead. He's diminishing the meat shield for the push. Now the Archmage has a personal caretaker. But how long will this help him? Shadowhunter can creep. Steals this from Infi. Oh, the summons can still get it though, if he's lucky. Blade Master finds the Archmage. And... LOL! Oh, he got it with the summons! <laughs> Level 3.4 for him. And now the Blade Master is so hurt that he can't harass anymore. That was quite an accomplishment. Almost level 2, yeah, but this was from the hero kills and the footman kills. Or hero kill and the footman kills. Plus the two creeps there. And if he's getting ready. With a zap elemental. Using two water elementals prior to the push. There's not too much mana on the archmage. Also there's no TP. No potion, no ivories. This is not the perfect push. But on the other side... We only have a Kodo now. We go for Headhunters. Also, Walkers. One potion there. Only level 1. No heal wave at the moment. The towers are coming up. Infiantis Towers. A love relation. Like. A love story since many, many, many years. It's going to slow. How well can he protect these towers? How much damage and pressure can he do? To the blade master. So far, it's looking good for Infi. The army is not that big. Eats the water elemental without taking too much damage. It was quite nice for folks, but he has to get away with it, I guess. Blade master is a little surrounded there. Gets two kills though. Finally, level two, and that is heal wave or potion being used first, as there is uh, oh, there is quite a bit of mana. Zeppelin not doing too much, and it's time for focus now to force or to knock down the guard towers. Otherwise, he will lose this. Another grunt falls. The blade master. And the range teams have to do it alone with the piercing damage of the headhunters. That works quite well. He also kills a few peasants, but he has to take down the second guard tower as well. Headhunter is down. Walker about to fall, but that was the risk he has to take. Or the sacrifice he has to make for the towers. But Infi has an overwhelming force, as it seems. On paper, on, the numbers are not that high. But what's the army? What is the army of focus? It's two headhunters and a walker and the heroes. Archmage is still strong. Next water elemental coming in. Same for the Beastmaster. But he's actually defending it really well with the heal wave now. Constantly uses clarities or buying clarities. Level 2 on the Beastmaster now. Only the Hawk though. And the Zeppelin is completely without purpose. He's not using that at all to save a few units here and there or to deny experience from his opponent. Now the next tower, as defensive as it gets. Blade Master has no potion anymore. The Hawk is giving vision. But this is time for Focus to heal up. And this is time for Infi to build the tower. Of course, Spirit Link helps for a while. I love how he sends in the Quill Beast to delay the healing. And this is all time for the Archmage and Beast Master to get more mana! Heal wave again! Spirit Link is running out though. And then he takes full damage level 4 on the Archmage. Kodo Beast has not eaten in a while. Not taking out these damage dealers. Yummy! That was a nice little breakfast. But how does he want to get the Blade Master to health again? When the summons are coming in over and over and over again. This time it's not the towers. Looking for a Hail Mary on the Beast Master again, who has no items. But the micro is too good for Infi, and the tower is up, so he can't dive into that anymore. GG! Infi holding on strong. Very scrappy game, but the fast level 3 was absolute key for him. And for whatever reason the game is frozen. But alright. Second game, second series that goes full distance. And they are one map away from seven hundred dollars. That would be the prize for the second place in this tournament. The clock was ticking for focus. Spirit Link works that way. It's fairly normal. Wait. Is the winner bracket final best of five?
Oh, winners and losers final are both best of five. Ha! I didn't do my uh, re re research. Research then. Because it was scheduled for one hour, so I thought, okay, one hour is always best of three. Turtle Rocket is, so it must be best of five. And it is best of five. Got it confirmed here. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. So we are down to a best of three now. Whoopsie. But yeah, Turtle Rock means that it's best of five, pretty obvious here. Uh, sorry for the confusion that I caused. Both players are in the game. We're about to start this. And of course, all comes down to if this is close position or not. Infi was really, really lucky with his positions recently. Whenever I see him on TR, it's always close position. <clears throat> Which is quite entertaining, but also quite imbalanced, because it favors humans so much. And... I'm loading into the game. And as you can see, it's cross position for once. This definitely suits focus, as if it's close position, you spawn here and here, and the humans can call militia, so you just come in waves, and with Brilliance Aura, you have a lot of mana, and a lot of water elementals, and that means a lot of pressure, especially to the burrows, so it's barely unwinnable for orcs in that position. But this way, it should be fine. Big map, lots of time to creep and get items. These items here are so sick. With this cross position, Focus has time for the shop creep early that will give him maybe class plus six, uh, class plus nine, or a pendant. If he needs some gym workout, oh well, he needs a hamburger, I guess. That's what he needs. So, Blade Master grunts, no surprise here. Shop into the direction of the merchant. So, this means he will go for the patented focus creep at the shop, most likely. Yeah, guys, Infi is so skinny, it's kind of scary. Even a few Chinese said, oh, he got so skinny, we we're kind of worried about him. But I think his uh, fiance will take care. So, creeping starts with Militia here against the turtles and then here for level 2. Well, focus taking the easy road. No, well, not easy. Quite dangerous if, it's, if it gets scouted. But he can use the Blade Master only. As you can see, whoop, the models or the warriors won't attack. And the Magi. Can be taken out quite easily. What? If he's going for the red spot. We will wait for the item here. It's a ring plus three, very unfortunate. But what the fuck? This is so, 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 so unusual. Focus will never find him there. Cannot expect this. Land of Stormwind, level 2. Lose maybe one militia. I don't know. Oh, and he's distracting with his footman. He's also in no condition since the 
uh, Footman is here. He can't use the heal seven. Will be cancelled immediately. He doesn't doesn't even get them. Okay, Grunt sees it now, but it's way too late. Expansion on Turtle Rock. Late Master would love to harass. He is quite tanky with his 8.6 armor. But he's not healthy. At all. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, chat says it's fairly normal. I don't think so. But alright. Focus finds it, but Focus is down to, like, in the red zone with both units he has. He has to knock it down on tier 2. Will it be a Wyvern play, Mass Raiders? He has to do something against the Expo. As I always say, Human Expo against Orc is almost a game winner. Three heal selves already used, and he didn't do too much. If he gets like the turtle here, it's level three for him. Should be quite easy to defend. I can tower up. Oh, surround on the grunt! Has to send this footman away though. He was grunt will be safe. A player's forces are under attack. If he gets the grunt, it's level three. Even saving the what elemental to not feed the blade master. Level one only. One beast three. Shadow Hunter. Lot or double beast three. Double beast three. They are on one lane, so it's quite fast to go from base to expo. And finally Infi will lose some stuff. Quite a lot actually. Pretty surprised. Knocks down the tower. Oh mass repair. So he gets that tower up. No wind walk then anymore. If he stays in there for longer. But he did make progress. Level 2 for him. Couldn't deny level 3 on the Archmage, but still fine. I expected this to be worse. A player's forces are and under Pillage attack. is coming very early, Pillage. So Raiders confirmed. And this will be Grubby style then. No tier 2 tech by Infi. He has to survive the first wave of attack. Is it Blizzard already? No, it's just Boots. It's not going to be Dispel, so there's no real reason to go for Blizzard. One tower up. He has not too much, too many resources. But also no Wind Walk. He's coming in with a Shadow Hunter now. That means he has Hex against the AM. Militia, not called. So low on gold. And the Archmage is not here. Focus can break this quite easily, as it seems. Too many losses at the second Blade Master harass. It's him into a position like this. Here comes the Archmage with another Water Mental. Goes away immediately. Doesn't want to get hero focused with Hex and Blade Master. Scroll Hex. Oh, he's looking for it. There it is. Can he reach? Can he block? No, he can't. That gets a few more footmen out. Does he have more heal cells? Only one. Ah, four. That's good. So if he gets rid of his water mental, he can heal up the grunts. The damage will most likely not be enough. More experience. And healing. Focus playing this really well. Finally, the tech has started. The first tower is up. Infi, of course, used the time for towers. But this is such a big investment. Where are the... Tier 3? Or Tier 3? What an unusual game. He kills two more footmen. But he has to retreat now as Militia comes in. Wait until the duration is over. And then go for it. It's crazy how passive this Archmage is. Since he got level 3, not a single kill has been made. He can't go for the bottom left, because then the Orc will wreck him a new one. But sooner than later, 
Fox has to retreat once he runs out of heal selves. So many kills. So, so many kills. 3 and 2 now. Does he have heal wave? Yes, he has a lot of mana save. And a clarity. So yeah, the selves might be gone. Soon. But he still has the heal wave. And he decides to pressure the main now. Tier 3, 4. Certainly interesting. Kills the shop. No more regen scrolls. Two towers, three towers will be up soon though. This is gold for focus. He might be down one base, but he still has pillage. This is some room to breathe for Infi. Or is it? Because once this falls, the floodgates are open. One grunt. Spirit Lodge will be cancelled. As the footmen come in. But he sees the tier 3, and it's so far it's only Raiders, no war mode. Is he going? What? The Shadow Hunter died? What the fuck? Why? There's nothing that would threaten him. Must have been a huge mistake by Focus to not move him away from the towers. Oh no. He played this so good, so far, but now he's supply stuck, he can't get- Okay, he got the Shadowhunter back before the burrow fell. That was big. Where's the mass repair? He's not doing it. He's losing the second burrow. He has to run away with everything he has, has no speed scroll. Oh, focus. Overwhelmed by multitasking god Infi. Now he's running into the creeps. And his base is wrecked. His base is wrecked and Infi is mining and mining and mining. Tier 3 is done now. Can't go for the orb backstab. Oh, there's no shop anymore, right? <laughs> can't go for the tiny great hall. Can't go for the orb. Tier 3 is absolutely useless at the moment and costs so much time. The Raiders are still doing a decent job, but he's losing way too many. The second one will fall. He's not paying attention to them at all. Just going for the Archmage, force the town portal, but almost every single burrow is gone. The cavalry is here. We heard Raiders. Finally, he pays attention again. That hurt. That hurt. A player's is it triple sanctum? Attack. Just double sanctum at this point. But a thousand one hundred gold MK. He rebuilt the base. Basically, his former expansion is now his main base. Still no shop though, so he's still hurt. Focus might know about this. Now he does. Let's see away from this man. So many resources go into three new burrows. Can the blade master die? I like what that focus is killing the production buildings, buying him way more time. He can kill the second one as well. Oh, Stormbolt on the Blade Master, no TP, he'll wait for not Wind Walk, but too late! And he calls for the GG. What a scrappy game by Focus. So many mistakes in the later stages. Losing the Shadow Hunter, losing Raiders to nothing, losing the Blade Master there. Ah, this is all not supposed to happen. This is all not supposed to happen. Throws the game away. And Infi is back. And Infi has the lead. And now, for sure, Infi is one step away from the winner bracket. Uh, from the grand final. But what? A reaction by Infi to go into that base. And of course, what a bad call by Focus to not have a speed scroll or a town portal. So he couldn't react. Infi, of course, saw the inventory of the Blade Master the entire time and for the Shadow Hunter. So he knew, okay, no TP, no speed scroll. Um, let's go with a lot of footmen and water elemental. He did so much damage <laughs> with this push. Crazy. And it's once again so impressive how patient Infi is. Like, Focus had him by the throat.
with all the grunts there, with the blade master damage, with the, with the archmage being level three only the entire time, like three only, but he got to level three and then he stayed there at the same XP value for ever. I think Infi didn't kill anything for three minutes or so. But once the expansion is running, once you have tier two, and usually there's no stoppage for the human anymore, but of course if you if you give him presents like this with the SH kill and everything, then it's a no brainer that Infi wins this. Focus four hundred APM. <laughs> Game 4 starts, it's match points for Infi and it's Echo Isles. Yesterday, Lin was defeated by a tower rush with a Fire Lord. Infi played it really, really well. Will he do it again? Or is this a normal play? Will he expand again? A lot of options for the human here. Might be the final game of this winner bracket final. Of course, we have one more series for you today. That is going to be Lin versus Chimiko in a best of three again. The lower bracket semi-final to determine uh, the lower bracket final tomorrow. The loser of this game will have to play it. Focus on the right, Infi on the left. This is the position he was in yesterday. He got a little gift yesterday from these creeps where a grunt of Lin was... And snared here, so it was very easy for him to take him out. This will most likely not happen again. And this is not a tavern build as well. So it looks like an Archmage. Echo Else is the best map to expand and still get level 3. What? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a Blood Mage first. Reprisal style. Yumiko style, even. Banishes, of course, great damage mitigation against the Blade Master. And that's what you want early on. Siphon mana is always good against the Shadow Hunter later. But what you lack is damage. And Brilliance Aura. And he's very squishy. So there's definitely options for Focus to work around that hero. He is quite fast, faster than the Archmage for example, with 300 movement speed. One of two heroes that has a movement speed of 300, next to the Pit Lord, surprisingly, as uh, one would suggest a that the big fat Pit Lord is a little slower, but no. So creeping stuff. You can't really go for a tower push with this, right? This doesn't work. Blood Mage is 90% expansion confirmed, I would say. Fast tech by focus. One burrow and gloves of haste for a start. The grunt did not get ensnared, but of course this is not his to take. If he goes super safe route with Players mercenary camp of four attack. X pro or oh, okay, he just lures him away to get the mercenary here for some healing. Shadow Priest there. Nice little trick, as the creeps won't attack him while they're running back. And Focus sees this. The big one is already gone. Two Rings of Protection. Actually really good now. 12% effective HP boost, but this footman will not survive. First Blood for Focus, but level 2 for the Blood Mage. Can he take out the Shadow Priest? Would be quite big. Denying the healing, nice. Banish, banished units of course cannot be attacked by physical damage, only by magic. And the healing works twice as good as you can see. <laughs> he needs to banish on himself most likely, gets the grunt surrounded there. Ah, banishes the blade mass, so he can still attack, yeah yeah, of course, smart choice. And this grunt is down! Infi getting a grunt kill in the early and of course banish slows! There's no wind block anymore, but the body block is not on point from Infi so far. Calls more Militia. This is a second expansion in the fourth game. 50% expansion rate. 
in human versus orc is very very unusual. A player's forces are under attack. Another banish, but speed scroll being used. Ooh, that was a hard block. Almost pulled it off. But what can he do now with only one grunt that is only now coming from the base? Lumber mill for guard towers, protection in the base to be ready for wyvern harass. That could be a potential escape from focus from this situation. Because, like, We've discussed this, or I have discussed this with Remo so many attack. times, what to do against the human expansion on Echo Isles. Once you have the Triple Sanctum up and you have your economy running, he can't do anything anymore. Panda now. Breath of Fire against mass units and the buildings and the peasants, but only level 1 on both heroes. This is basically do or die. Double Beastery... Windwalk, uh, Siphon Mana again, preventing Windwalk. I think he should have used it on the Panda there, but he wanted to get rid of Backstep, I guess, to keep his uh, Blood Mage safe. And now Siphon Mana against the Panda. How much can he do? He's surrounded there. Ooh, banishes himself. Can't be attacked. Gets into a better position, but he's slow. More militia being called. And he's out of mana now. No breath. Did we see a single breath of fire? According to the footmen, we, uh, for, to the peasants, we did. But that's about it. And again, banish again. Uh, surround. Oh, opens it up. Close it again. Well done. Has to wait a little before he can attack this. Of course, he's going to up with another silver platter. Trying to fight out, but nope. And the expansion's up and running. First guard tower is up. What are the beast reads producing? Wyvern. Tier 2 Wyvern play by focus with a Panda and Brewmaster. There's gonna be a lot of damage. No anti air so far from Infi. Except the Blood Mage, of course, who has a crazy attack speed. Not too much DPS thanks to the low damage rules. No defend, no tech. He needs more guard towers. One guard tower per Wyvern is pretty well calculated, I guess. This is risky. He sees... Oh, it's night time. Did he see the PM? I don't think so, but he lets it go. Not punishing it so far. Boots of speed. Oh, this is so nice. He can outspeed the Blade Master now. And run away. This is so good when he has to stand still for Siphon Mana. And then can kite. Berserker and Shadow Priest again. Banishes the Blade Master again to get rid of his damage. Level 3 on the Blood Mage. Pretty early on, but here come the Wyvern, and that's gonna hurt. The Footmen have no defense. Goes for the Shadow Priest immediately, as it's one of the only anti-air, but double banish! That has no cooldown, he goes for double banish, as he has so much mana thanks to the Siphon here. Saving... Every single foot. With a shot, he has to get the scroll immediately, and now hide. Hide, 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 hide. More towers in the base, this will take some time. The opening is in the base. Not at the expansion, with the army and two guard towers. This game is really, really close. Why were not in four of them? I think he's too late with the towers. I'm pretty sure he's too late with the towers. He won't volleys them. Finally level two, finally critical strike. Well played by both so far. And he has to keep on the pressure. Where is Infi's tier 2? Only 60% done. Then he can go into Dragonhawks, of course. And tier 3 by focus. He didn't break it with the first attempt, <clears throat> so it might be time A town for Tiny Great Hall. Takes out another tower. Takes out another tower. Nice little banish save there, but I think it's too much. I think Focus Mass Wyvern found a way against this, but Infi's tech was still right. Now he has defend. Things are a lot harder now. With banish, he's always in danger of being surrounded, as you saw multiple times already. 
and there's almost no damage. Can he find damage in the base? I think he does. Keeps oh, two towers now. Defend activated. Black Mage is not even close. This is really good damage from the footman. And he's buying the time that he needs. First Arkan Sanctum is coming. He really wants to play casters against this. Alright. A player's force is on Creeping is now child play. Damage rolled from Windwider is so high. Finally level two. There's something to buy, Cloud of Attack plus 6, boots. it's okay. Mana stealing, meh. Gets a little mana back from the Blood Mage, but that's about it. Second Barracks, it's Rifle Casters. It's actually Rifle Casters, oh the Archmage! Oh, oh, banishes him. Nice. This banish control is really good. He's always there when he needs them. And with Brilliant's Aura later, this is of course way more banished than he already has. Plus, water elementals are good against the Wyvern. Still, only two guard towers. One masonry upgrade, mass repair. This helps, and he gets one Wyvern for free. Well, basically for free. This panda is so useless, it's crazy. How he constantly finds the right range. And there we go. Rifle casters. Double rifle casters. Still only Wyvern. He is on tier 3, so I guess he has Envenomed Spears. Can't check that, unfortunately. Blackmage still keeping this two rings of protection. I think that's a very good choice. A player's forces are under attack. Does he have a tiny? Yes. Counter expansion by focus. Super late, but worth it. He's not in a position to push or punish this. If he explodes into sixty-three supply, focus at fifty-eight. Peon train is coming, and of course this tiny great hole can't be interrupted. Little scout is a coming out. Forces are under attack. And he evacuates with a lot of peasants into the main now, since there are two towers. I think he doesn't want to open up more space of the lumber there. Level two archmage, so he has brilliant aura, manual of health, and class. Class quite good for the blood mage, as we said, high attack speed. But we have three, six, seven wyvern. I would love to have a Shadow Hunter, I'm pretty sure. Oh, wave. Crip check now! But where's the anti air? Speed scroll being used and Blood Mage! Needs a banish, gets it. 65 supply. And militia trade. Ooh, they will be. Just a big meat shield, and they will feed so much. Players forces are under attack. Is he towering the expansion now? I think he does. I think he does. And Venom Spears only now. A town is so the damage is high, but not crazy high. This will most likely be a trade. Base trade between Infi and Focus. Nice save on this Wyvern, he takes out two towers. This one is so gone, <laughs> like, there's no way of defending it. He's just towering up, so he's trying to defend his main. Gets one Wyvern. Level 3 Water Elementals would help so much. He's fortifying this position, I kind of like it, but maybe it's too passive. Footman in the peon line to diminish the income. Ooh. Enough damage there. The main still stands, but oh, much longer. Peasants are dead. One base versus two base in favor of the orc. This is so rare on Echo. 
I've learned the wyvern play. Worked out surprisingly well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 peasants. TP now home now see. to save this keep. He's harassing here as well. Again, the usage of defense footman. He wiped out every single peon. Focus not on point with his multitasking. Not at all. And the two guard towers are up. He can't start the siege. Infi is not out of this game. All not by a long run. Under attack. He's not reacting to this. Okay, finally he is with the heroes. Look at his second base seat. backup. So many kills. Archmage level 3. Blood Mage level 4. Oh, the rally point! Focus again with mistakes in the late game! Only 40, like 60 gold at the moment. Third tower here. More riflemen. Of course, they have long range upgrade. But Focus is playing the smart now. Moving in between the expansion and the main. Defending his expansion with the heroes. Those are easy bombs. Good attack animation cancelling as well. The army is not strong. Not at all. He will one-shot the priests easily. Good thing for Infi is that it's not like in StarCraft, so he can overshoot. StarCraft there's like an automatic damage distribution if the computer knows that you will kill it with like one shot, the second shot will go to something else. Yeah, and he keeps him busy now. Level 3 Panda. The two towers can't do anything, are under attack. and the peon line is back up, but he gets the panda in a... Surround against the trees! Summons a water element to make this faster. He's definitely dead, and that's a big kill. Breath of Fire is great against rifle casters, but what about his main? The two towers, and illusions even, killing the guard tower, uh, a wyvern, but that's about it. Focus on 59 supplies. It's not too much. And now it's a real trade. He gives up his base to get the Great Hall. Which is fairly easy to accomplish, I think. I still think he needs more towers there. Against the piercing damage, of course, it will take some time. The Great Hall did not really pay off. Getting closer to a level 5 blood mage, by the way. Great Hall gone. Focus on one base. Can he TP and save this? Does he have a TP? He does. He doesn't want to save it. He just gives up the key. He just gives up the key. So it's one base versus one base. Cross position on Echo Isles. Does Focus have a TP? Oh no, he doesn't. He has to. This is make or break. A player's forces are under attack. Focus is supply stuck until all of eternity. And what can the Wyvern do? First tower down. First Wyvern down. Blade Master 4.6. Oh, oh, what? Uh, Blade Storm would be so great here. Because he's losing another wyvern to this. No micro at all. Again, a little overwhelmed. P online completely wiped out. Both will be without economy after this. And who wins the straight up fight? I think it's Focus. It's, well, there's a good amount of riflemen. Now they both think they get the better end of this trade. OTP out now. Okay, he saves it. There's no slow. Slow would be very good, I guess, against the Wyvern. Panda is back. This fortress is still up. No income anymore. And he's supply stuck. Did he just lose his last peon? Oh, there's one. One single peon remaining for focus. While Infi is mining. This is a good, good, good shot for the Chinese. How much gold is there? 3,700. 4,900. Good harasses. 
We see the damage over time working here, keeping the number of riflemen low, but Banish is always there, and he loses it again, and Focus taps out! Infi had the better end of this base race, a little anticlimactic, but yeah, what can you do with only one peon against a fully mining gold mine of the human? Even, yeah, Wyvern, he lost too many Wyvern. If he had like 60, uh, 66 supply, then it's different, but Infi defeats him 3 1 with funny game on Equals. Very out of meta this was. And after a not so great GCS for Infi, he's back, defeating Focus here online, and guaranteed second place is guaranteed $770 with the chance to boosting it to $1,230. This means we get a Korean battle for sure in the lower bracket final as Infi is the only remaining Chinese player, but he's waiting in the grand final. We have three Koreans remaining. One of them will be eliminated after the next game. Lin versus Chimiko coming up. It's still Orc versus Human, but it's going to be entirely different, I think. Chimiko yesterday, or two days ago, with a big upset against Lucifer. Yesterday with the an unthinkable win against Life, who was completely tilted after game one. So is this Chimiko's tournament? Does he still have the momentum of yesterday? Or will it be Lin once again? And then we get Lin versus Focus in the lower bracket final. Interesting stuff coming up here at Back to Warcraft. One last series of the day. It's Lin versus Chimiko. See you in a bit.